guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is April, and I'm a mom to a seven-month-old baby boy and a military wife living in Florida. In today's video, I thought I'd bring you guys a what's in my diaper bag video. If you're interested in this video, let's go ahead and get started. This is my current diaper bag that I'm carrying. It's a Skip Hop Greenwich diaper bag. I love this diaper bag. I think what I love the most about this diaper bag is that it doesn't look like a diaper bag. This looks like a backpack you could carry around as a purse or if you are a student, carry it to college. That's why I like it. It doesn't scream diaper bag to me. It's chic, it's a nice beige color, and it goes with everything. Another cool feature about this diaper bag is that it has these handles right here. So you can actually connect this to your stroller or even a buggy. Well, I call it a buggy because I'm from the South, but you guys probably call it a grocery cart but you could connect this to your grocery cart when you're shopping. And it does that on both sides. So you can carry it just like that. I apologize if I keep looking to the side, I'm watching the baby monitor, my son is napping and I don't know how long he's gonna nap, story of my life. Another great feature about this bag is this front pocket here. And this is where I keep my personal stuff. And I know that's what you guys are here for, to see what's inside my diaper bag. So let me stop rambling and let's go ahead and get started. All right, in this front pocket here, it's my wallet. It's a Kate Spade wallet. I got this in the outlets in Myrtle Beach a couple years ago. It's a black wallet. I love it. I'm not going to open it because you don't really need to see what's inside of it, but it's a great mom wallet. It can fit a lot of cards, your license, your cash, all that good stuff. Next thing are my sunglasses. I got these off of Amazon because I lost my Ray-Ban glasses that I had for like five years. I'm very sad about that, but these are super cute. They're from Amazon. They actually look designer, I think. And I think I paid like $14, $15. I'll try to link it down below for you guys, but they're pretty cool looking. And they're polarized, so that's always a plus, especially living in Florida. You need that kind of stuff. Next thing, Altoids. I always keep these in my diaper bag. I love this flavor, the cinnamon. A snack for mommy, for me. Peanut butter crackers is a must. Because sometimes I'll run out of the house and I'll forget to eat something because you know you're grabbing all your stuff for your kid, trying to get out the door. So it's good to always keep something in your diaper bag that's like this. So I keep the crackers in my bag. I guess I should actually show you guys like the pocket so you can see. That's inside the pocket. You can also fit your cell phone here, but I'm filming on my cell phone, but that's where your cell phone could go. And it's a pretty deep pocket. Like I fit all that stuff I just showed you guys plus this little bit of makeup. I've got a MAC lipstick. This is in the color syrup. I love this lipstick. I've been wearing this lipstick forever. It's an awesome color. It's kind of like those, what's your, your lips with better color. So I think you guys would like that. I've got a face powder. This is the Milani face powder. Nothing really exciting about it. It's just a face powder. So there you go. A buxom lip gloss in the shade April and then I have two uh, like chapstick type things the Carmex which is like my favorite and then I also have a Nivea one in here that's what's in my front pocket there okay also um, I forgot to mention I have a hand sanitizer on this side I mean I'm sure every mom has hand sanitizer somewhere in their diaper bag there's also a little pocket here I usually keep my water bottle in there but I don't have anything in there right now All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this bag. You see how much stuff it actually fits? It's crazy. There's no rhyme or reason to what's in this bag. I just kind of threw it all in here. The first thing I'm gonna pull out is my son's teether. With this banana, if you guys do not have this little banana thing, you need to get it. This is my son's favorite teether. We got it off of Amazon, it's amazing. A formula dispenser because I went to the pool earlier and I brought a bottle just in case we do formula feed my son uh, we did breast or we I tried to breastfeed in the beginning it didn't work out for me so I formula feed and that's what I put my formula in next thing I have some snacks for my little man some of these baby mum mum crackers and the sweet potato and carrot flavor and a plum organics apple and broccoli pouch we actually are combo feeding him, so he does have purees, but he also kind of does baby led weaning. But like I said, we're doing combo feeding, so it's a mix of purees and baby led weaning. It might not be for everyone, but that's just what works for us. 
We also have inside this diaper bag these Parent Choice disposable placemats. So you can use these at a restaurant or even if I guess you were to go over to someone else's house and you don't want your kid to make a mess on the table, you just put these down and then when you're ready to go, you peel them up and you can throw them away. Next thing I have in my diaper bag are the Baby Gannix insect repellent and sunscreen. I love this mineral sunscreen. I've actually even used it on myself when I forget my sunscreen. This is SPF 50. It works great. Another staple in Florida is insect repellent. Because if you live in Florida or even in the South, I'm originally from North Carolina and we still have the same problem with the mosquitoes. You need bug spray and so does my little band. So this is what we use is the Baby Gannix Insect Repellent. A bottle of water for hydration. Also, um, if I have his bottle in here, he uses the Dr. Brown's bottles and sometimes I don't like to put the water in there because I'll forget the little disc that goes on top and they'll leak. So I tend to keep a bottle of water in my bag so that I can just pour that in his bottle, then pour the formula and then mix it. I also have a burp cloth in here. A change of clothes, which this one might be a little too small. My son is seven months. He currently wears 12 months to 18 months. This is a 12 month outfit, but I think the days of him wearing this are probably outnumbered. But this is what I currently have in my diaper bag. I need to change this out probably also have this bag right here. I got this, I believe, in the Amazon Welcome Baby Box. When you register for a baby registry on Amazon, they send you a welcome box. It either came in that or it came in my Target Welcome Box for my registry on there. But inside here, I usually keep a teether. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's a little Elmo teether. Also have some Aveeno sunscreen samples that I got from his pediatrician office. These are really good too. So when I run out of the Baby Gannix, I might try to get the Aveeno one. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have a Ziploc bag of little Vaseline. That's what we use on his tush sometimes for diaper rash. I just put the Vaseline in here. It was one of those big tubs and I just put them in travel size containers and I leave that in my diaper bag. And then we have a travel size of the Boogie Wipes. You can also get these at the Dollar Tree, FYI. I love the Dollar Tree. Maybe the next video I'll do is a Dollar Tree haul because they have some pretty nice things there and they have all their fall stuff out. You can get some pumpkins at the Dollar Tree that look like they're from Hobby Lobby. That's pretty cool. And you pay a dollar instead of paying like five dollars or ten dollars. Next thing I keep in here, which I haven't used in a while for him like when we're out, but when he was really tiny and he was in his bucket seat, the like infant car seat, I would use a sound machine because sometimes he would take naps when we were out, but now he's just in the regular part of his stroller and he has a convertible car seat. Don't really need this because he doesn't usually nap when we're out, but this is pretty nice and this is great for travel. It's the Hush brand. Not the Hush brand. I think it's the Mar Marpok brand. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's called the Hush white noise machine. It's awesome. We also have the traditional white uh, white noise machine in his bedroom too that is from this brand and I highly recommend a white noise machine for anyone's baby it's a game changer and also my husband and I love it too these are my son's diapers that we have in here nothing exciting I think they're Pampers brand size 4 I also have some swimmer diapers in here because we went to my friend's pool today so these are the Pampers brand I, I'm not partial to Pampers. He actually uses Huggies a lot too when you, we use Huggies overnight diapers because those are my favorite, the Huggies overnight diapers. We tend to buy Pampers or Huggies, but we also buy them whichever one's on sale. So if Huggies are on sale one time, that's what we'll buy. If Pampers are on sale the next, that's what we buy. We tried the Loves with him. Those didn't work. They broke him out. Also, we have diaper or baby wipes. So that's all what's in the inside. Another great feature about this bag is it has this back pocket too that you can also put things in here. I usually keep a, a, a bag from like the grocery store from like Publix or the commissary in here, one of the grocery bags, because you never know when you're going to be out somewhere and you can't find a trash can and you have to change your kid's diaper. So I always like to keep those extra grocery bags inside here because they come in handy. Or if your kid has a blowout and you don't want to put those dirty clothes inside your diaper bag either. I mean, you can. But I like to wrap it up in a bag. Also in this diaper bag, it came with a changing pad. I believe these diaper bags are currently on sale on the Skip Hop website for $75. I purchased mine from Target 
I think for $75. For the longest time, this color was always marked down, but it seems like on the Skip Hop website, you can get the black, this color, the pink, the green. They're all marked down. So I don't know if they're actually discontinuing these, which would make me really sad because this is a very popular diaper bag. So if you guys are interested, I would go check out that website soon. But this is what's in my diaper bag, or should I say my son's diaper bag. Anyways, if you guys are into these kind of videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber and I'm trying to get my feel for things. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry if I'm all over the place, but I appreciate you guys staying and watching. And I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.